Welcome back to another Dorian Ping devlog. If you're new here, I am Ember and I'm making a game called The Secret Life of Dorian Pink, a narrative RPG where the devil has kidnapped your boyfriend to cook for a festival and you have to rescue him. Wowee! Can't believe it's been 10 devlogs! When I first started making devlogs, I was concerned I wouldn't have anything to say or share, but guess I was wrong. I also hit 100 subs since my last video and it may seem like a small number to some but it means a lot that this amount of people thought the content or game was interesting enough to spend your time on it. And of course a couple of friends are part of that number. Thank you so much fellow humans, I am grateful. Let me think of something I can post to celebrate this small win. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, I finally figured out pathfinding so now NPCs can follow Dorian around. I won't get too much into the code because I feel like I somehow accidentally stumbled upon the solution and thinking more about it will just cause more confusion. I can tell you it's made using a navigation 2D node, a navigation polygon instance, and kinematic body 2D and the get simple path function. If you've been following my devlogs, you know how much of a headache pathfinding in Godot has cost me. Can't say I'm an expert at pathfinding even after so many tutorials, but I understand it much more now. I will link the video tutorial that I found particularly helpful in the description below. When I was playing Gris, no spoilers here, there was this character that would follow you around for a bit. It felt nice. In Disco Elysium as well, Kim Kitsuragi, everyone's favorite Kim Kitsuragi, follows you around. It's like you're not alone. It's nice to have a sidekick or a friend. When I started Dorian Pink, I already knew I wanted to have some sort of mechanic where some NPCs would follow and interact with you. That was harder to implement in code than I thought. Let's talk a bit about game design in this devlog. I have found a trick that works well for me in coming up with more unique mechanics and that is mind maps, not exactly groundbreaking, but when I am stuck, I do this. Have a core experience that you want the player to have, for example jumping, then I list down all the very basic or terrible ideas, then branch out to more and more things, and this is cool because our own life experiences play a part in this mind map. Focus on a few interesting points and create thumbnails of some gameplay, sort of like a very basic paper prototype, and eliminate the ones that might not work. Test out the ones that seem promising. So that's just a little tactic that I've been using to come up with minigames when I'm stuck. Since I'm getting into the second arc of the game, I am careful not to share spoilers in my devlogs. It also means I have to continue writing more dialogue and creating more animation. Both can be tedious, but once you get into the groove of it, it gets easy to focus, for me at least. I was scribbling furiously in my game notebook this past week as I was finishing up the dialogue and story because my brain was once again in tangles because of the narrative branching, and trying to make sense of the branching takes more time than you'd expect. And the day passes and you're like, what did I do today? I couldn't decide if I was productive or not. But one at a time, brush your teeth every day, not all at once in one day. I spent a lot of time on animating and designing all the devil's clothes in all directions. To wear a different set of clothing is just a matter of toggling the visibility of each clothing node. Not gonna lie, I was reluctant about doing this at first because obviously it's a lot of clothing and shoes and accessories but can you imagine the devil without flamboyant clothes no way so be gone laziness i can do it and i did the nodes aka clothing is separated into different categories like top bottom accessories etc so you can only wear one piece at a time from each category Okay, let's talk a bit about exporting. I had to export some sort of demo of the game, and this was my first time exporting in Godot, so I turned to tutorials as usual. They got the job done, but there were some problems. The exported version kept crashing even though it worked fine in the editor. I eventually figured it out, sort of, but I think the topic is too boring to talk about here, so I detailed the solutions in my first ever Reddit post, which I will link down below. If you ever have trouble exporting in Godot, it might be useful. I feel like we're nearing the end of devlogs for this story in pink game. At this rate, it's just, oh, I added new NPCs, or, oh, I made another room, or, 
Oh, I made a lamp or fuck shaders. This game relies on story and the surprise factor too, so I don't want to show too much and spoil it, especially the latter arc of the game, which I'm working on now. Honestly, this might have been the first big project that I will have seen to completion. You can never get bored with being a solo game dev, especially if you suck at math. You can feel a lot of other emotions, but never boredom. Hopefully I can wrap things up soon and start implementing music. Also, we'll have to commence the tedious task of debugging. Ugh. And then after that, it will be publishing marketing trailers and such. I have been working on those as well while developing the game, but I'll share more on that at some point with you guys. So if you have any questions about that, um, let me know and I'll try to answer them in future videos. I have some ideas for future content for this channel. Honestly, I started this channel just to document my process, but it has been fun talking to everyone and I want to share more of the game dev journey with you beyond just storing pink. But if you have any ideas for tutorials or other things that you are curious about, let me know down below or join us in Discord. We talk about good food and tunas and games we are working on. Thank you for watching. I hope that that was enjoyable. If it was, leave me a like and if not, I can take a thumbs down or two, three might be a stretch. Just kidding. Subscribe for more. Bye.